Laos, landlocked, communist, yet Buddhist. 50 ethnic minorities, fishing and farming communities, and is bordered along the mighty Mekong River. Coffee plantations, karst mountains, and really interesting foods. Come and join the journey of discovery. His love from Laos. The village of Huai Hun lies on the western bank of the Mekong River in southern Laos. I've been here a couple of times now and I'm there at the invitation of my friend Fa, whom I met at Tadlo village further north in Laos. This is her family village. All her cousins, her mum and lots of her family live here. This is a typical street in the village. Many aspects of village life center around the local Buddhist temple. As the only foreigner in the village, the children really want to have a lot of fun with me, as you can see. A cousin has invited me to go out fishing with him at one of the local lagoons. They have nets set up and these work like funnels. They direct the fish into the main traps. This section has yielded no fish, so we'll head to another area over the hill. The long net is submerged, so he's lifting it up a little. It's a very hot day and the clouds are building, as is the humidity. And just a small catch today. A 
I went exploring later and came across this field of water lilies. Beautiful flowers, but what is mostly sought after is the seed pods, which are then sold in the markets. There's little green pea type foods inside and they taste beautiful. Bamboo grows everywhere around the village and here the local boys after school are playing soccer. Barefoot. As I squat in the shade overlooking the Mekong River, a local man comes to see what I'm up to. I'm watching the young guys who have a punt across a local creek. The bridge is out and they use this punt for transport. The clouds are building and I'm sure there'll be a storm later. Morning comes and I'm off exploring already. I love the edges of the Mekong, the reflections, the clouds and the colours and the beautiful patterns that nature brings along the sandy edges. Local fishermen have already been out and some are coming back with their catch.
Near one pay, go far, you don't get. The cousin went out early and brought back a really good catch of fish. A lot of these have checked through. Anything that's no good is tossed over the edge of the building and down to feed the chickens. Breakfast is a communal affair. Everybody seated around a serving dish. There's sticky rice and using small lumps of that and dipping it into various uh, bowls with fish, fish paste and spices. After breakfast, local kids are off to school. Most important in this village is fishing, next to the Mekong of course, and rice. These women are returning home after a morning of working in the fields. Baby. By the middle of the day, kids are going home from school. Because the Mekong can and does flood, most of the houses 
either a raised up or have a second floor. These boys are hunting for snails and frogs to eat. In the later afternoon, the cattle are grazing and the buffalo are cooling off. Wherever possible, building materials are recycled in the village. And another day in the village draws to a close. On my next visit, the wet season is truly upon the village and southern Laos. Dragonflies are everywhere, the river is in flood, locals are really enjoying the fishing and there is plenty of driftwood coming down the river which is collected for firewood for the future when it gets cold again. With love from Laos. Like and share this video and please subscribe for more videos in the future.